Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a little get ready with me life update video, but I wanted to give you a little disclaimer. It's only a half get ready with me. I get ready. Do I have fallout? I probably have fallout on my face right now. I didn't check, but um, I got half ready and I started to do my eye makeup and then I got a phone call and I it the phone call was like it took a long time so I ended up finishing my makeup while I was on the phone call and then came back and finished my story so um, we're half getting ready and then you're gonna just see the look which spoiler alert it is this look this is the look um, and I like it I, I went in just knowing I was gonna do something yellow because I have a leopard top on I was gonna play with yellows I haven't played with yellows in a while but I did a little bit of a hot pink uh, lower lash line and I kind of love it. So anyway, that is what we're doing today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jamie. I do beauty videos twice a week. I would love it if you would subscribe before you go. And if you guys would like to get ready with me and hear what's been going on in my life, then keep on watching. turn off this fan so that you can actually hear me <laughs> okay I'm very pale today as we can see um, but we're gonna pretend that I'm not I pulled a bunch of products from my stash some of the things I just wanted to remind myself what I thought about them and some of them I know what I think and I just haven't used them in a while and I just wanted to play with them so I'm going to be priming my skin with two primers um, from the Beauty Blender, or the Beauty Blender, from Beauty Blender. <laughs> One is the Opal Essence, and it is like a, a pearlescent, kind of glass skin type of a primer. And then the Leveler, which is a pore filling primer. And I'm going to be using a matte foundation today. I'm going to be going in with the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue foundation, and it's very matte. So I'm going to put on this glowy, um, luminous primer so that it looks more, I mean, is it matte? It's either matte or natural. Now I don't remember, but it leans matte either way. So I don't wanna be pale and matte. <laughs> so anyway, so while I do this, I'm just gonna talk and yeah. So you guys may have noticed that I've been kind of absent I don't know like I've definitely been putting out less videos lately and when I have sat down and filmed I definitely have not been myself so there's a reason for all of that and I'll get to it but I want to catch you up if you haven't watched any of my previous vlogs since quarantine started or any of that um, just to catch you up to speed so when the quarantine started, I had a couple of scares thinking that I have the virus because I have asthma and I was having difficulty breathing and um, chest tightness and things like that. And I told you guys in one of my vlogs or two of my vlogs or I don't even know how many of my vlogs, but I had mentioned that I was having breathing difficulties. And so I was kind of terrified about the virus and you know being scared that I might have it or whatever I don't have it didn't have it um, but then in the last couple vlogs I've been talking to you guys about gut issues like my gut health and you know feeling not feeling great because I feel like I'm not you know I'm bloated every time I eat so then a couple weeks ago I was in the shower and I had this episode where I could not breathe. Like I was trying to take a breath in and I couldn't make my lungs expand enough to get a full breath. It happened once at night and I say once like it went on for you know 30 minute intervals for a couple hours one night and then it happened again in the shower the next day this was probably three weeks ago now so I immediately I'm like fuck do I have the virus 
because I've been out, but not out. I'm like technically quarantined still, um, but going to the grocery store, Target, whatever I need to do, you know what I mean? I definitely have been using more of like the pickup, you know, the Walmart pickup and whatever. But I have been going into like Sprouts and like other grocery stores um, that don't have pickup options or delivery or whatever. That's really the only place that I've been. However, I did pick up a friend one day to take her to Target because she doesn't have a car. She can't drive for medical reasons. And I was in a car with her without a mask. So anyway, long story short, I got scared after that breathing episode. I'm like, oh my God, do I have the fucking virus? But then other weird things started happening I started getting really bad headaches, also a sign of the virus, but I wasn't getting, I had no fever, I had no cold symptoms, just like, um, like post-nasal, which isn't, I don't think, part of the whole COVID symptoms. I have been having breathing issues in this apartment since I moved in. Like when I lay down at night to go to sleep, one of my nasal passages always blocks up and I, am forever taking Flonase. And I got, I mentioned in my Amazon haul video that I got an air purifier because um, I was having issues and it helped. And I'm thinking it's allergies, right? So my allergies have been flaring up. I don't know why. Um, I've been getting episodes of vertigo, things like that, you know? Well, this smell started coming out from under my sink and it smelled like rotten eggs, both my bathroom sink and my kitchen sink. And that smell is the smell of sulfur, which is gases from rotting pipes. It's very toxic and not great for you to breathe in. So I was like, you know what? I I started noticing my plants started getting spots all over them. I'm going to be using my trusty Dose of Colors Meet Your Who concealer. Not because I want to match, but because this is my favorite concealer. I really don't feel like using something different, so I'm going to use my Urban Decay Ultimate Brush Off Powder and Dose Concealer because that's my favorite combo. Anyway, I'm going to try to get through this video as fast as I can. I mean, it's going to be a long video, but before I deteriorate. <laughs> um, so, let's see, where the fuck was I? Shit. Oh, the smell. Okay, so the, su the sulfur smell started coming out of my, um, under my sink. And I started to suspect that there was like a big issue going on here. And one of my neighbors had told me that she used to live in this unit and there was a massive water leak. And um, that's why she moved out and moved downstairs. And I was like, I, how much you wanna bet there's mold in this apartment? But at the time, I wasn't connecting all of the dots. I wasn't connecting the difficulty breathing when I'm sleeping, the difficulty in chest tightness I had in March. Um, and then, like I was getting these episodes of like severe exhaustion to the point where I could not move. Um, and then my brain started to show signs of a problem where I couldn't remember words. I couldn't remember thoughts. Like I would be thinking something and then it would be gone. Um, then it got to the point where I wasn't speaking correctly, like, um, and it might happen in this video, I don't know. Um, it's happened a few times while filming and definitely in my July vlog, which you'll see, like I had some episodes on camera where I couldn't fucking <laughs> function. I lose words for things, I'm like, what is that called? You know, like dementia or something. So I started to connect these dots and I'm like, what is that? So I started Googling all the symptoms and of mold toxicity. And don't you know, every single thing that I've been dealing with 
It's been a slow progression since I moved into this apartment to now, to the point where it has, it is seriously affecting my health, where I am having episodes of struggling to breathe. I can't tell you how scary that is. Um, I've, I have adult onset asthma. I, I don't have the kind of asthma where you need like a rescue inhaler. Like I've never had an asthma attack. Nothing like that. I just don't get as much oxygen to my brain as I probably should or to my body, my lungs, whatever. I don't take in as much oxygen as I should. But I've never had like trouble breathing like that. Um, it scared the shit out of me. Because even when I was having issues in March or in April, I forgot which month it was and maybe all of them, it felt like I was aware of my lungs and um, I had kind of like chest tightness, but like I never was struggling to breathe. You know what I mean? Or not that I remember. Meanwhile, this whole time, you know, Ranger has been having a runny nose. And I just chalk it up to, he's got allergies too. Well, don't you know the sign of canine, one of the symptoms of canine mold exposure? <laughs> Nasal discharge. So, I notify my landlord that I suspect, and it's like a big company, it's like a property management. Notify them that I suspect. And they basically laughed it off. The The maintenance people came, they, they told me, oh yeah, that smell is coming because there's like a hole in the back of the wall around the pipe. Like pipe is just hanging out by itself and there's a hole going down into the wall. Both in the bathroom and in the kitchen. So they, they share a wall. The bathroom's on one side and the kitchen's on the other. So they patch up the wall and they, they tell me that the smell is coming in from the wall. I'm like, no, I don't, I don't think so but okay we'll do it your way go ahead fix fix it and sure enough it didn't really do anything it still smells the bottom of the cabinets in the bathroom and the kitchen have so much water damage it's like bubbling um and there's all this water damage around the pipes coming from the wall into my toilet and that all has been there since I moved in so next products I am going to use all right so I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier, um, this is the Bronze 03, I haven't used this in a while, and I'm going to be using the Ofra Glow Up Palette, I haven't used this one in a while, um, it's got four shades in it, I have no idea what shades I'm going to use just yet, we'll cross that bridge, um, so anyway, I then notify them because I'm getting sicker, and I don't know if whatever mold is here is just gotten worse. I don't know if it's in the air conditioning and the rugs. I don't know if it's in the pipes. I don't know if it's everywhere. But I'm getting really, really sick at this point. Where I can't work. I can't function. I can't think straight. Um, and it causes like depression. Just all kinds of shit. And I just have not been myself. So, like, on top of, be, like, feeling terrible. Ooh, that's really nice. Um, so, long story short, not really. It's not going to be short. <laughs> I go to Home Depot and I decide I'm going to take matters into my own hands and do a mold test. Meanwhile, I notify them that the patching of the wall didn't, work. I still smell it. I, I'm getting sicker. Now mold is a big deal. <laughs> mold can kill you. Mold can cause cancer. Molds can get into your bloodstream and you can die. Like you can, I mean, it can be a whole array of levels, but like, I'm not, I'm not here to fuck with my life over some mold. <laughs> so they have not contacted me back. Meanwhile, this mold test, it's like a Petri dish, and 
you take a sampling by just leaving the pastry dish like open. You take the cover off and you just leave it open in the room for an hour. Then you close it up and let it sit there for like three, four days and see what grows on it. And I, I'm like, oh, nothing's probably gonna grow. I checked every day, there wasn't anything on it. And then by the third day, I didn't even look. And then the fourth day I looked at it and there was the grossest, biggest, I don't even know how to describe it. it it's mold, but it's white. And it's bad and it's in my lungs. And to see it, I was traumatized because I'm like, holy shit, that is in my body and in my dog's body, both dogs, because both dogs are exhibiting symptoms. I just thought I would insert the Petri dish for you guys to see. It's nighttime while I'm editing, so I just wanted to show you. This is what the back of it looks like. And this is the front of it. It's hard to get the detail on camera, but hopefully this just gives you an idea of what I'm dealing with here. Disgusting. So, I freaked out. Sent the landlord, the leasing office, um, pictures. And legally, they have 14 days from the time I suspect, I, I report that I suspect the mold to deal with it or I have the right in Nevada to break the lease. But we're in the middle of a pandemic. Where am I going? Prices are weird and really expensive. I looked for new apartments. I couldn't really find anything in my price range. So, an opportunity has come up for me to move because I have to get out of here, like ASAP. And I've been really grappling with where I'm going. I've been very unhappy in Las Vegas for quite some time. And during my last move and all the videos I did, I, I said that to you guys, like, I don't really love it here. I'd like to get out of here, but you know, I'm, I went through a breakup, so I needed to kind of get out of the situation I was in first and get back on my feet and then see. So I had only signed an 11 month lease here and that's all it was. It was for me to start over, get on my feet and I've been wanting out of Las Vegas for quite some time, probably two years. I've been here three. <laughs> um, I don't like the weather here and I don't wanna sit here and like be negative Nancy on you guys. So I don't wanna get like go too deep into it, but I don't like the weather, I don't like the vibe, I don't like that, like the dating scene, I don't like the party scene, I don't like the people, I don't like anything about it, quite frankly. It's not awful, but I'm not happy. You know what I mean? Life is too short for that shit. On the flip side of that, I had mentioned to you guys also when I moved that the reason that I took a less expensive apartment in a kind of a less desirable neighborhood was because I was trying to save money to buy my own house and I really wanted to do that. Um, owning my own home is something, you know, I haven't ever really been able to achieve because I lived in Southern California. And if you know anything about Southern California, <laughs> You can have the best job and make a shitload of money and still not be able to afford a home in Southern California, like to purchase one in today's market. It is so ridiculously expensive. And I want to go back to Southern California. I love Southern California. The eyeshadow palette I'm gonna be using is the La Vie Dunn Prince from BH Cosmetics, the collaboration. I'm gonna be playing with the yellow and brown shades. Um, I don't know, I don't, I honestly, I don't know what's gonna happen, but we're just gonna go with it. And the reason is because I have a leopard, I have leopard on right now, so I just thought like yellow and brown would look kinda cool. <sighs> I'm not going anywhere, so I'm just playing with makeup right now, so it's like whatevs. By the way, 
everything my makeup will all, all be on Instagram so if you are curious or you want to reference the look it'll, it'll be on if it comes out good <laughs> it'll be on Instagram um, so anyway I would love to go back to Southern California that's where I feel most happy because I'm highly affected by the weather um, I think it's an empath thing but if I don't have decent weather like I'm an unhappy person so I'm just very seasonally affected but not in the way you would think like at this point like I don't mind winters because I don't like the extreme heat I'm not really a fan of extreme weather in any sense to visit yeah fine but to live day to day no I can't it's very hot here so the other flip side of that and the downside to Southern California aside from that it's very very expensive is it's very very crowded there's a lot of people there's a lot of traffic there's just it's it's a clusterfuck for lack of a better word um, and I'm at a point right now where I don't want that I don't want to live in a tiny tiny space with a bazillion people on top of me and that's what it's like you know even when you're renting it's like right now looking at like what double what I'm paying here for a two bedroom apartment in Southern California would maybe get me a room double the cost of a two bedroom take my rent double it and I could get a room in Southern California to rent and then that gets me no closer to buying a home right defeats the whole purpose well my mom lives in another state she owns a bunch of rental properties and she lives in southwest florida southwest yeah i think so i have to look at a map but she's owned these properties for several years and the reason that i have not moved into them is because i don't like florida <laughs> And I was living in Southern California. And why would I, in God's name, go from Southern California to Florida, back to the East Coast where there's humidity? I, if you don't know, grew up in Boston. So I grew up on the East Coast, and I, I'm a West Coast girl. I'm 100% a West Coast girl. Even though I was born on the East Coast, even though I grew up on the East Coast, my heart and my spirit are West Coast, like, period. Um, and that might upset people, but it, it just is what it is. It's a very different lifestyle. So anyway, that's why, you know, I've never gone back there. And I miss my mom. I miss being close to my mom. But every time I go to Florida, I'm like, I could never live here. Like, why do you have to live here? This place is awful. But I'm in a situation where I'm living in mold. It's harming my health. My mom has a house, a house I can move into. Like one of her rental properties is a single family home with three bedrooms, a yard, a back patio. It's freaking awesome. And I could have all of that. The dogs could run and play, not be cooped up in an apartment. I'm not liking where this look is going, but we're just going to keep going. Keep it moving. So anyway, she told me if I wanted to go down there, she would give me the house to move into. So how, at the point that I'm at right now, in a dumpy two-bedroom apartment in a state I don't like, in mold <laughs> how could I say no to that right that's it seems kind of a no-brainer so 
you know, it happened really fast. I wasn't even, it wasn't even on the, I wasn't even considering it a week ago. I was looking at apartments in California. Um, and I was like, fuck it. You know? So that happened. Is this the worst get ready with me? This is not even a get ready with me. It's like a ha get ready with me halfway until I get a phone call and then I have to finish my makeup myself and then I come back to finish my story. That's what this video is. Um, I did use the rest of this palette. I ended up going with like a hot pink lower lash line. The lashes I'm using are the Salon Perfect No Show Band 651s. I had a pack of like three or four of them. Where's the thing? There was three in here and I've had them forever. I had one pair left, so I decided to use them. I used to love these lashes. I, I don't know, I was like hanging on to them for because I liked them and I was waiting for something. I don't know why, because now I'm like, these are a little bit too, I don't know. Like I don't love them. Like they're a little bit more dramatic than I would ever wear like out. Maybe like a night on the town, but Where I'm going, there is no nights on the town. I do need a little touch of a lipstick though because I did have lunch in between all of that. <laughs> I had a phone call that I had to take and deal with some of the logistics of this move because the house is going to be, the kitchen is getting renovated. So um, uh, I had to discuss some of those details with my mom and then I got another call and then whatever. Anyway, I don't remember where I left off, but the moral of the story is I consulted a lawyer. I am trying to get out of this lease before my dogs and I get even sicker than we already are. Um, I did just go outside and walk them so I feel a little bit more clear headed. Um, every time I go out of the house I feel so much better and is that a coincidence? No, I don't think so. <laughs> You'll see more about the behind the scenes and what's going on in my July vlog and I'm going to document as much of the process as I can because I'm moving cross country this time like the last move I just moved across town um, now I'm moving across country so I'm going to be selling and getting rid of more than half of the things that I own so I'm gonna do like some declutter videos I'm gonna try to film as much of the moving packing process and then I'm going to be driving across country with the two dogs so I'm gonna try to get as much of that vlogged as I can as well and then what I thought we could do because it's my own house that I'm moving into now um, we could do like a I don't know if we, we want to do it on a vlog or in like a home decor series of some sort like me, you know, redecorating or decorating, furnishing the house, decorating and like my process and my design style and how I choose my pieces and set up the room and my inspiration and all that stuff because home decor is a big deal. I love home decor and um, I did do, if you haven't seen my latest apartment tour, I did do an apartment tour at the beginning of quarantine. Um, I am, I did film some updates in my latest vlog, in the July vlog that will be out soon. So you guys can see the apartment as it was. I took this really dumpy apartment and I turned it into the cutest possible apartment I could have with what I had and um, I've just I've always been really into home style so I'm excited for the idea of having this blank canvas they're painting it and redoing the kitchen um, they're not redoing the bathrooms but I think I'm going to um, I'm going to give it a little bit of an update on my own so I figured we could you know document and let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing like just the whole 
because I'm about to move cross country, you guys. I can't even believe it. Never say never because I said I would never move to Florida. And I'm not going to say that I'm not freaking out about it. I am 100% freaking out about it. It's like I'm going in the wrong direction. I want to be going west. And now I have to go east. Way east. I, I was like pretty um, resolute on my decision just because I, I'm going to pay less than I'm paying for this two bedroom in dumpy Las Vegas for a house with a 11,000 square foot lot. I mean, I don't think I've ever in my adult life lived in a house. I've always had like apartments, townhomes, you know what I mean? But like a single lot with a yard, like I don't, I don't think I've ever had that. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited to, it just, it was a no brainer. I, I couldn't say no to that. And especially just at the point of life that I'm at, like, I want a, I want a house. <laughs> I just want a house. Now, I don't know how it's going to affect my dating life. This ought to be interesting because I'm moving to a place that's the demographic is skewed quite a bit older. Um, but there are s neighboring towns to, you know, there are cities, there are areas all around where I'm moving that do have you know, people my own age, theoretically. But I'm going to continue my Dating Diaries series over on my podcast. So if you're interested in dating stories and if you were into Sex in the City, you'll like that series. And um, I do that once a month and I just give you guys recaps on my dating life. Currently, there is no dating life, but I'm just over it here. Um, the dating scene here is just, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for being patient with me. And if I do seem off, you now know why I am dealing with mold toxicity and it is no fucking joke. I thought I had 15 different things wrong with me and it turns out that it's just one. It's just the one. Yeah, I, I'm going to try to pre-film and try to gather as much content as I can before I move so that way you guys won't be without content too long. I am probably going to have to stay at my mom's house for a little while because I have to figure out like the movers timing because when you do a cross-country move oftentimes it takes like two weeks to get your things. So I'll probably do the drive in three or four days and then I'll have to wait for my stuff. So I'll try to have pre videos pre-filmed for you so that I can, you know, keep at least one video a week. I'm st hoping I can stick with two, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my very best. And sometimes, I mean, I just, I feel like I have the whole world on my shoulders right now between the dogs being sick, I'm sick, the legal issues and ramifications for breaking a lease. I have to get medical testing and, well, I have to get my labs. I already got my chest x-rays, but I have to deal with the doctors and movers and planning the trip itself, the drive, and all the, the little minutia that you have to do when you leave a state to another state. You know, mail forwarding, and I gotta contact all the PR, and I have to, deal with my health insurance and just like a whole bunch of stuff and it's just me I don't have a, a vast network of friends here in Las Vegas I have a couple of friends but like we're in a pandemic so it's really tough it's just really tough like to I'm kind of on my own because of the pandemic and you know the situation it is is as it is and am I babbling probably at this point did I finish telling you what else is on my eyes I don't know if I did god I'm scatterbrained I did go in with the Lottie London stamp liner because I just wanted to see if this thing worked I couldn't remember um 
so I used it and I actually like how my wings came out they came out pretty good today I feel and my brows I used this what is it called brow endowed and this is a primer and color this is from urban decay this product never I never really took to it because I don't know but it does lock your I mean it's glue it's glue for the brows I don't know why I, I'm more of a clear brow gel kind of girl but I used the shade taupe trap and I don't hate it I don't hate it so I'm, I'm going through and I'm trying different products from my stash because I, like I said, I'm going to be doing a massive declutter. So I'm going to remind myself of what I like, what I don't like, so that I can go ahead and then declutter. And I do have one video coming with, I'm trying some new makeup products. Um, I skipped over my spring favorites. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but... I filmed it twice and there was problems with both videos so I couldn't really post them and I didn't think the video was very interesting honestly I didn't have a lot because I was on a no buy so I just I scrapped that video anyway so that is what's been going on with me I have a, a big change ahead of me I am nervous and excited at the same time just for a new chapter and just to kind of, um, I don't know. I'm gonna look at it in the most positive way. I don't think I'll stay in Florida forever. It's not my fave, but I cannot stay in mold and in a quarantine trying to move and find a new place here in Vegas that will allow me to still achieve my goals. Like it doesn't make sense for me to move into a place that's more money than I'm paying that pushes me further from being able to buy a house, it doesn't make any sense, you know what I mean? So if I didn't hate it here, then it would be fine, but I don't really like living here, so I'm going to probably not like living in Florida, but in a house, so it's already a win, you know? And also, my mom is there, so it'll be nice to be closer to her, and I haven't lived close to my mom in a long time. The last time I lived near my mom, well, last time I lived in the same state as my mother was like 21 years ago. <laughs> so I moved out when I was 18. It's been a long time that I haven't lived near her. So, you know, I think that'll be nice. And I'm going to just try to stay as positive as I can. All I can hope is that I have to focus on my health first. I have to get out of here. And I don't have a lot of time and a lot of options, you know? So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. And what I get on the other side of that is a house and a yard and a brand new kitchen and a garage. And I can take you guys along for that ride. So that is it for today's video. I'm sorry that I didn't get to finish the eye look. Um, oh, the other thing I didn't tell you is I did do use this palette, but I also on my lids I put the Pixi Miriam Maquillage uh, Collaboration. This is the Fairy Lights and This is in the shade Mirage, so this is like a glitter gel situation if you guys don't know what these are um, they're the fairy lights gels and I like I haven't used these in such a long time but god it's so pretty it looks so wet and beautiful and just a hint of yellow I don't I don't hate anything that's happening right now I actually kind of like it so I'm gonna go take some pictures for the, the gram and hopefully they come out good and I will post this look over there for you guys so that is it for today's video I hope you guys did enjoy it if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the bell so you never miss when I upload a video you can follow me on social my handle is at glam latte and don't forget the glam latte beauty podcast is on iTunes Google Play Spotify Stitcher Radio Castbox and iHeartRadio. all those details are in the description box down below thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much and I will see you in my next video bye guys Thank you.